YouTube, this is Doug Green Cabby with We Is The Future, the channel that we focus on things that we do with our family, whether it's cooking healthy meals or just spending good time with them or doing projects. And today we wanted to share with you the easiest, most tasty, most tender pork loin roast. And basically what we're going to do, you can do this with a beef roast. You can do it with a pork loin, any kind of meat that you have. First, what you want to have is a crock pot. What we're going to take is we're going to take a big, giant chunk of just four pounds of pork loin. We're going to have five carrots. We're going to have two onions. We're going to have about six or seven potatoes. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of red wine and one packet of Thin Valley uh, Fiesta Ranch. And basically what we're going to do, we're going to cut it in half throw it in there, chop up our vegetables, put them on top, put the onions on the very top, and then uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, put our Fiesta Ranch over the top, uh, drizzle it with a little bit of wine, close it off, put it on low, and cook it for five to eight hours, and it's going to fall apart and be the most delicious roast you've ever had. All right, so we're going to put our four pounds of pork loin right there in the pan. You're going to put it fat side down so that fat has the ability to protect the meat while it's getting tender. On your potatoes, you just want to cut them in fours. If they're a little bit larger, uh, then you'll cut them you know, a little bit smaller. But these are medium-sized potatoes. You want to make sure that the skin's on there. That's where you're going to get most of your nutrients. And what you do is you throw in your hardest vegetables first because those will need the longest time to cook. And the great thing is, is they'll be able to sop up all the juices from this wonderful roast. Go ahead and pour some of the Fiesta Ranch on top of the pork loin. Make sure that it gets a good seasoning in there. Okay, we're going to leave some for the top of the vegetables. Alright, throw your carrots in there as well. Now remember that the onions are going to be going on the top because those are the softest of the vegetable. And this whole meal is only going to take about five minutes to prepare. Like I said, it does take five to eight hours uh, to cook, but the great thing is you can put this on, go to work, come back, and it's ready to eat. All right, with the onion, all you want to do is strip out the outer layer of skin. Once you do that, all you do is you cut it in fourths. So you cut off the end. Cut it in fourths and just throw it in there. Now the great thing about this is these are going to get super sweet, super tender. You've never had onions like this before. Really delicious. And your family will actually be fighting over these. My wife, she doesn't really like onions that much. And uh, she really loves these onions here. She was very surprised on how sweet they were. So we're going to go ahead and do that with our secondary onion as well. Like I said, the preparation on this is only about five minutes, and then you can leave it all day while you're running errands or while you're going to work. And when you come back, it's going to be ready for your family. So this is like a no-brainer because you can make this, you can have a good meal for your family, and then you can freeze it so that you have the ability to have future meals later on. And uh, me and my wife have already done a couple pot roasts like this. Uh, the pork loin works really good with it as well. So we have it all the way to the top there. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put on our remaining seasoning just on the top. And what this is going to do is it's going to soak down through as it cooks. Okay, just put the seasoning on top. Then we're going to put a little bit of sweet red wine right on top. Just a little bit, maybe about a cup or so. You don't need a lot of liquids in here because the meat itself is going to create all of its own liquids as it cooks. All right, so all you do is put on your lid, put on your lid, put it on low, and it is ready to go. Once again, like we said, put it in for about five to eight hours, and then when you come home, it will be tender, fall apart, juicy, and ready to eat for your family. Once again, thank you so much for watching. As soon as we get it done, we'll go ahead and show it to you as we plate it. Thanks for watching. If you get a chance, please subscribe to this fast, healthy meal for your family with We Is The Future. All right, so the pork is done, and as you see, 
It's really tender. It just falls right apart. Very, very, very nice. And like I said, it's going to take about uh, five to eight hours, depending on uh, your uh, cut of meat that you have. But it's delicious, well cooked. We also have our potatoes, our carrots, potatoes, nice and juicy. The onions have caramelized, they're nice and sweet. You'll never have another better cooked onion. Delicious, never burnt, very, very nice. Mm. Your family's gonna love it. It's healthy because you're incorporating a lot of fruits and vegetables into the diet and gives you the opportunity to go out and about, do all the errands that you need to do, go to work, come back at the end of the day, and your meal is ready for your family. So we just wanted to share this quick meal with you, something that's quick and easy for your family so you get the opportunity to spend more time with them, because that's what our channel, We Is The Future, is all about. Spending time with your family, quick and easy things that you can do to spend time and have a great family life. So once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you get a chance. Give us a big thumbs up if you like this meal. And uh, as always, please favorite, please like, please tweet, please pin. And as always, spend time with your family now so you can enjoy each and every moment you have. We'll talk to you soon.